Graphical Scheduler, by default, is going to be showing you production order routing lines. You can change information that shows. To do that, let's navigate to Review, and we're going to choose Edit. In our example, we have two different data sources, and they're both looking at production order routing lines. We have one for simulated, where we're allowed to drag and drop with allow writes, and we have one for release production order routing lines, where it's read only. This will show us two pieces of information at the same time, and allow only the ones that are simulated to be dragged and dropped. You can also add other information. So for example, we have shop calendar holidays, or you could do work center calendar entries or work center load. Let's explore some of these. If you want to see work center load, we would choose OK, and it'll create a new data source for us. Now we can see the load in action. For example, we can see that Sunday has no available capacity. We can see that there is work available on Friday. And on Saturday, there's available capacity and nothing planned. You can also show calendar entries. So in this case, if we wanted to understand more information about the capacity availability, if we show the calendar entries, we can see that the shift starts at 1 a.m. and ends at 10 p.m. We're also going to notice that the calendar entry is actually detailed to the availability. Let's zoom back in. So we can see that the shift ends at 10 o'clock. So if we were to drag and drop something where there's no available capacity, we'll probably see it move on to another day. And that's exactly what happened. So Business Central automatically moved this to the next available time. If you want to have some information writable, so for example, for production order routing lines, you can also make sure that that's limited based on the filter. And that's how you can show other information in a graphical scheduler. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.